in December '88, the former Sheep Herders are going to debut with the WWF as the as the Bushwhackers. Jake, had you ever spent any time around these guys during the Sheep Herder days? I had. And okay. What a what a rough, tough, rumble tumble, street fight guys they were. And when they came in and started doing all that stuff they were doing, I'm like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> and why? And what are they fucking doing? And I thought it was just insane. But it got over. Yep. It got over big time. And uh, hell, it, it added years to their careers, man, because uh, their style was so rough, man, on the body. They, they were like street fighting completely, you know, and uh, it was rough on them. Took its toll. And I mean, now they're coming in here and it's like, you know, you mentioned it before yourself where you're going from Mid-South blood and guts, Jake, to now yeah. all of a sudden you're, you know, you're carrying a snake. You're still the same dude like on the mic and in the ring, but the blood and guts stuff is uh, not existent in this world, no. right? Yeah, it wasn't, man. It was easy. Well, and uh, I mean, you see these guys, uh, the Bushwhackers, and uh, you know, obviously, it's they're they're the same dudes outside of the ring. They're yeah. just very different inside. Uh, yeah, did, you get to, did you get to spend a lot of time with them, like the bars, partying, stuff like that? Oh yeah, I, I spent a little time with Butch and Luke. Yeah. Whoa! Yay! Uh -huh. Yeah, I went through it. <laughs> Licking people's heads at the bar. Yeah, they kept away from me. <laughs> that's probably a good thing yeah i've been like kind of looking on tab of acid if they lick me you know <laughs> you're like you're like one of those poison frogs out in the in the yeah. forest there you go <laughs> uh during this time do you believe it was easier for wrestlers to make such a drastic change in presentation without blowback from the wrestling audience who'd come to know them so well yeah it was man you know the tv was so strong you know, that's the whole thing. You're going to eat what you're fed. And so they feed you whatever they want to on television, and that's what you're going to eat up. Yep. And, you know, like, I think that a lot of the old school fans are like, oh, they were so much better as the sheep herders, and they were kind of like the original, like, hardcore type guys. And it's like, maybe, <sighs> maybe, like, it's fun to watch, but, like, it real realistically, their legacy is the Bushwhackers. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. They, uh, they got over huge, man. The kids loved them. They were a lot like Hacksaw, who was getting over yeah. really big at this time, too. Just yeah. out there wild and brawlers. They're not going to put on any technical masterpieces, but they no. will entertain you. Yeah, absolutely. 